Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Cliff with Pen Flamingo Power Wash. Back with a brand new video for you guys. Today, we're working in Carewood, Florida. Uh, we're here for a roof cleaning and a light gutter cleaning job. Uh, this job here, if you guys remember, my man <laughs> fell in the pool. This is the job. I told you guys I'll be back to do the roof. Uh, I booked the roof, so we're going to be doing it today. Um, we had to do a lot of property inspection uh, protection today because I don't have a ground guy. It's just me by myself, so um, I got to be real, real careful with the plants and also the grass. Uh, some of the areas in the house, of the house, there's no gutters, so therefore those areas got to be flooded with water before we start. Uh, in, in the front, we have a lot of uh, plants, so, so let's go check it out. front area here, is, she got some nice plants. She took care of me last time. She gave me those pink flamingo pillows last time. <laughs> So all these plants gotta get wet down before we start really good. She does have gutter guards in the front gutters. So there's a lot of leaves accumulated right there. I'm probably gonna use my, um, I'm, I'm gonna just go up there and put those in the bag. I'm not even gonna worry about blowing those on the ground. They're dry leaves and they're sitting right on top. So this is the areas I'm talking about with no gutters. So you definitely gotta be careful around here. Check out the back. So the back gutter that goes along the pool cage leaves right here, which we should be good because this area up here is a um, patio, you know, so the, there's no shingles there really. So we won't have to worry about runoff coming off these gutters coming out, out here. I'm gonna show you guys the other side, what I'm doing to keep the uh, grass wet since, since I don't have a ground guy. This is a trick I use. Since I don't have a ground guy, I use a sprinkler. Oh, I'm getting wet. <laughs> I use a sprinkler to just wet the whole area before I start. Squeeze by here. So this whole area, I've been having it drenched up for like the last maybe 10 minutes. I'm gonna switch it up to go over here now. Wet that area some. Right there. Just flood that whole area. And I'm gonna move it one more time to flood that area over there. So this right here just keeps everything wet. We don't have to worry about, you know, killing in the grass. So I'm gonna flood this area real good. Um, it is a shingle roof. Show you guys the front view. So this is the front view here of the roof. A lot of algae build up. Got that big tree over top of us. She does live on a golf course, so we're definitely gonna bring this baby back to life. We are gonna be using the 5% mix sodium hypochlorite, surfactant, and um, you know, water. That's the, that's the recipe. Using my 12 volt system to apply the mix. Low pressure, man. But before we start, I'm gonna get up there, get those gutters cleaned up. You know what I'm saying? Actually, I'm gonna just water down the, the plants at the bottom and then go up there and do the gutters. can't walk <laughs> I'm not walking across that cage so I'm gonna use my ball valve or my shooter tip just blow that off and I just clean up that area over there you see these gutters up here these ain't too bad it's dry leaves thankfully let's check out the channel back here usually this channel is the worst 
not that bad. Got a little bit more debris over here. Put those in a bag. I'm gonna flush out this whole channel. flushed as you guys can tell nice clean gutters all the way down yes sir looking good downspouts flooding nice and good so over here cleaned up I'm gonna miss this top of the screen let's make it look better all right and then we're gonna jump onto this roof cleaning okay, we're gonna start spraying the roof in the back because back here I got gutters so I'm protected from the runoff instead of doing the sides right now because the sides is where there's no gutters so let's do it back here first get it out the way Project is going pretty well. As you can tell, I clean the front and also the back of the roof. It's looking pretty good. So now I'm gonna tackle the sides, which has no gutters. So when you're alone, either you get you the sprinkler or what you have to do is one side at a time go down there and wet everything real well come up spray come back down and water the grass like crazy that's the only way to get it done when you by yourself all right i'm gonna go ahead down there right now wet, wet the grass down come back up here spray this side go back down wet it again and i'm gonna go do that side Thank you. 
All right, so I just sprayed that section right there. And I'm gonna go down, spray that grass area, just to be safe. That's what you gotta do when you're alone, man. So I came down, I whipped all this grass down here, make sure everything is good to go, all the way across. You can tell where I stopped cleaning. I'm about to clean this side now. Come back down, rinse again, and then I'll go to the other side. project man took us about two hours a little bit over two hours because i had to wait you know what i'm saying to water down plants and up and down the ladder without a roof guy man it just makes it much harder but you know you get it done you get results like this no i don't rinse roofs at least shingle roofs only roofs i really rinse is on um, metal roofs you know what i'm saying so that's my thing Everybody does it differently. I'm not knocking how people do it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has their own ways. Show you guys this side here. But I had a half and a half shot earlier. Look at that. It's like a new roof. Yes, sir. Yeah, I appreciate y'all checking the video out. It was a nice ticket for me. Two and a half hours, give or take. 950 for this job so very happy with the results gonna collect that check oh also man make sure y'all subscribe to the channel make sure y'all like the video and comment below um i've been having a lot of questions lately you know about how i'm doing things um a lot of times guys i'm doing things different ways different methods just to show you guys you can get the job done doing it other ways you know i have my set ways but there's other ways you can do it too you know what I'm saying? So all my videos ain't, I'm not gonna follow the exact same procedure every single time. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're cleaning pool cages and, uh, you know, driveways, roofs, whatever. There's many different ways. You can start applying your mix from the bottom up or top to bottom, whichever way you wanna do. Just get the job done. All right, man, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Peace.